The Audi S8 is a four-door, full-size luxury vehicle manufactured and marketed by the German automaker Audi with seating for five passengers. It is the flagship of the Audi brand. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2017 Audi S8 Plus. The S8 Plus is a high-performance version of the Audi A8 and it is the most powerful vehicle in its class. With 605 horsepower and 553 pound-feet of torque under the hood, it offers a staggering quick acceleration that pushes you into the seat, handles more like a car's half its size, with cutting-edge technology features that keep you connected. The Audi S8 Plus also features the legendary Quattro all-wheel drive system that comes standard on all Audi S8. The confidence-inspiring grip of the Quattro all-wheel drive system transferred the power to the wheels that needed the most to help maximize traction and handling performance on nearly any roads, plus the available sport differential that helped you grab hold on every corner. Now, some standard equipment included with the Audi S8 Plus are 21-inch wheels, full matrix LED headlights, a power sunroof, dual pane glass and acoustic and brake resistant side windows, heated and ventilated front seat with massaging function, 4-zone automatic climate control, front and rear parking sensor, 22-way power adjustable front seat, navigation system and many other features. I'll show you all of them as we go over the car. So the new 2017 Audi S8 also come available with the dynamic package. It gives the Audi S8 the performance of a lifetime that boasts lightweight front and rear Audi ceramic brakes with anthracite gray caliber, a carbon fiber rear lip spoiler, a sport exhaust system with black exhaust outlets, and an increased top track speed of 190 miles per hour. So here we have the sticker to the car. As you can see, all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. So base price is started from 115900 with all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $119, $175, and that's including destination charges. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the lightning that helps accentuate the Audi A8, full automatically LED headlights with strikingly new design LED daytime running lights, as well as LED turn signal light. Very cool looking headlights. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. In the middle is the newly refreshed Audi single frame grille with chrome accents. And there is the Audi 4 ring logo in the middle as well as the S8 badging on the grille. Front surround camera is located right under the Audi logo. Intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed are also a standard feature. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model I have here today comes standard with 21 inch 5 double spoke arm design wheels with 275 35 summer tires. Behind the wheel is the set of 15.7 inch internally ventilated brake discs and a huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in black with S8 lettering on it. V8 T badge on Defender, side view mirror with LED turn signal indicator, side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top you have the sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches and comes with 275-35 summer tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is the 14-inch internally ventilated brake disc, as well as the power-assisted brake caliber painted in black. It also comes with interlock braking system with electronic brake pressure distribution and brake assist, electronic stability control with secondary collision brake assist and traction control, tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. Now looking at the back, you quickly notice the iconic LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. Very beautiful tail light. And there you also have the uh, rear deck spoiler. At the bottom is the rear diffuser that frame the quad chrome tip exhaust. Park assists are also integrated into the rear bumper. And rear view camera is located above the license plate. 
and there you have the S8 badge and there's the third LED brake light on top okay so here I have the remote with a S8 badge on the back on the remote I have the lock, trunk release, unlock, panic button and the Audi logo at the bottom now let's open it up and check out the interior so the car does come equipped with smart access key system with the key in your pocket just press the button located on the door handle once to lock after a few seconds place your hand behind the door handle to unlock and all four doors does come with self closed automatic door if you fail to close it it will close for you the exterior color is known as brilliant black featuring a full black leather interior with carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout and diamond stitching on the seat throughout very luxurious interior now let's jump into the driver's seat start it up and see how it sounds so with your foot on the brake just push the start button located on the center console to start Now let's switch it into dynamic mode. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2017 Audi S8 Plus have to offer. Under the hood is a 4 liter TFSI supercharged V8 engine with 8 speed Tiptronic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter quattro permanent all-wheel drive system with sport differential it is pushing out 605 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque or 553 pound-feet of torque with over boost can hit from 0 to 60 in just 3.7 seconds top speed is electronically limited at 150 mile per hour in the US or 190 mile per hour with dynamic package EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city 24 highway and 18 combined very impressive engine now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior hey guys this is a very special vehicle I have here today it is the 2016 BMW B6 Alpina X-Drive Grand Coupe dressed exclusively in Alpina green metallic Alpina is an automobile manufacturing company based in Germany. It works closely with BMW and their process are integrated into BMW production lines. Thus, Alpina is recognized by the German Ministry of Transport as an automobile manufacturer, in contrast to other performance specialists, which are aftermarket tuners. The BMW Alpina B6 by Turbo Grand Coupe is truly unique. As the first four-door coupe from Alpina, it represents a seamless blend of superior dynamic, aesthetic design and luxury. The combination of a powerful, high-torque V8 by turbo engine with all-wheel drive yield unrivaled performance and take the Alpina driving experience to a whole new level. Accelerating from 0 to 60 in just 3.6 seconds, the BMW Alpina B6 by turbo Grand Coupe can reach a top speed of 200 mph. per hour. The BMW Alpina B6 by turbo model are powered by the latest generation 4.4 liter V8 by turbo engine 
Universally re-owned for its silky smooth power delivery and impressive torque, it now produces 600 horsepower at 6,000 RPM, that's 40 horsepower more than the BMW M6, and 590 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 RPM. The high-tech engine's bi-turbo concept enabled the realization of high peak power output, great throttle response, and high torque output over a broad RPM range for that typical Alpina driving experience. Now looking at the front, the first thing you will notice is the lightning that accentuate the BMW B6 Alpina. The full adaptive LED headlight provide all forward lightning function, including low and high beam headlight with LED Corona headlight rings, cornering lights, daytime running lights, as well as turn signal light. At the bottom, you can see the very aerodynamic front bumper with Alpina lettering printed on it. And a closer look at the iconic BMW double kidney grille with chrome inserts. Park assist are also built into the front bumper. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. There you can also see the cornering light as well as the side camera. Now this particular model comes with 20 inch light alloy wheels with 255-35 Michelin performing tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs with the huge brake caliber painted in blue and a peanut lettering on it. And there's the fender, body color side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. It also comes with the side view camera. On top is the panoramic sunroof that can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and come stacked in width with 295-30 Michelin performance tire as well. The B6 also features a Pina sport suspension, dynamic stability control, including brake fade combination, start off assistant, brake joint and brake standby feature with dynamic traction control. Tire monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. To the back, you quickly notice the full LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as turn signal light. LED tail light illuminate faster and help alert driver behind quicker to prevent possible accident. And there's the B6 Alpina badge on the trunk lid as well as the rear deck spoiler. At the bottom is the aerodynamic body color rear diffuser that frame the quad chrome tip exhaust with dual sound mode. Park assist and rear deflectors are also built into the rear bumper. And another look at the Alpina B6 badge. Rear view camera is integrated behind the BMW badge. And the third LD brake light on top. Okay, here I have the remote. On the remote I have the unlock, lock, trunk release as well as panic button. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Alpina Green Metallic, featuring Amara Brown full merino leather interior with premium wood trims and aluminum trims all around. Very unique and catchy color combination. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So to start up the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake and push the start button located on the right to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 BMW B6 Alpina have to offer.
Under the hood is a 4.4 liter bi-turbo V8 engine, 32 valve with variable valve control, double vanos and Vaftronic, and high precision direct injection. 8 speed sport automatic transmission with automatic, sport and manual shift mode, including Alpina Switch Tronic software with quick shift button. Pushing out 600 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 3.6 seconds. Top track speed is electronically limited at 200 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 15 city, 24 highway, and 18 combined. Very impressive. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with Alcantara insert in the metal, carbon fiber trims, and silver aluminum trims. There you have the door lock and unlock, two position memory setting, and all four windows are fully automatic, side view mirror controlled, and it does feature folded option. There's the trunk release button, and the door storage compartment. And here you have the opening for more storage compartment. Blind spot monitoring system. S8 aluminum door seal. And there's the pedals. Okay, so here's a closer look at the seat with beautiful uh, diamond stitching around it. Now both front seats feature 22-way adjustable front seat including 4-way power limbo support as well as massaging function. And that little knob right there is to control the uh, massaging seat. As you can see the arrow indicate if you want to move the uh, massaging down right left. And you can scroll the knob like such to move around your different options. The seats also feature a memory system that recalls two store position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. Both seats offer heated and ventilated seat option as well. The three spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with white contrast stitching and silver accenting trims in the middle. Looks and feel very sporty. It also features multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter, so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there you have the cruise control. On top you have the turn signal light control and the uh, lane keep assist. Over to the right you have the windshield wiper control. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column. And here's a closer look at the instrument cluster. It features a large TFT screen in the middle that display all the information directly in front of the driver in razor sharp, brilliantly clear and high contrast quality. And you can now uh, scroll through the function on the uh, via the button located on the steering wheel. Navigation is not active. Which uh, I think is very convenient. And there you have the odometer trip reset button. Over to the left hand side you have the driver side air vent with beautiful carbon fiber trims and aluminum trims. Rear and front fog light, light control, and there you have the uh, control to the heads up unit display and the uh, brightness to the interior light. And there, as you can see, I can uh, position the heads up uh, display light. There you have the lever and a closer look at the dash with the uh, heads up display unit right there. So this particular model I have here today comes standard with the Bose surround sound system that features 14 loudspeakers located throughout the cabin that pushes out 630 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers. 
Now located centrally on the dash, you have the retractable screen. You can uh, retract or close it, like such, if you want. And it looks very flush with the cabin, with the dash. Look very nice. Carbon fiber trims on the dash and silver aluminum trims. And there you have the uh, traction on and off, emergency hazard light, round analog clock, and the uh, airbag light indicator, park assist on and off, and the rear sunshade right there. And here you have the Audi multimedia interface. Inside you have the uh, SD card slot, SIM card. And here's the full zone climate control. It does feature heated and ventilated seat for both uh, front passengers. And here's the uh, controller to your infotainment system. The keypad there, you can also scroll it and touch it to move around screen. You have navigation menu, telephone info, back and call button. And this knob here, you can turn it to move around screen. Push it down to select. And the fall button located on the corner, indicate the four corner on the screen. It is very easy to use. There you have the radio, media, and the volume on and off button. Very nice sound quality. And there's the navigation system. The system is super responsive as you can see. So on the menu here you have navigation info. Which is the uh, information to the uh, navigation telephone car. Inside car you have how the drive select. You can choose between individual, dynamic, and different driving mode. There's the Audi Connect, Tone, Radio, Media. And here you have the beautiful looking uh, gear shift lever wrapped in carbon fiber. Feels really nice in your hand. So just push it uh, the button down to and push it down to get into reverse. Once you're in reverse, the rear view camera will appear on the multimeter screen with and over the top camera located on the left. It also shows the uh, guidance line to help with a much easier backup. And you can uh, choose between different angle views of the camera from the outside. Very nice. And down again for neutral, down again for drive. And that's when you can also use the uh, steering wheel mounted paddle shifter to change gear. And just uh, press the button again and move it all the way up to get into park. Like such. Very simple to use. There you have the start and stop engine button, park and brake. Two cup holder. And you also have the cigarette lighter inside. I love the carbon fiber trims on the center console. It looks so sporty and luxury at the same time. And here you have the center storage compartment. Very small space. Here you have the Audi uh, interface connector. I wish it uh, could be a little bit bigger though. And there's the glove box compartment. And once again, very beautiful carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims on the dash. And here's a closer look at the seat once again. Very nice upholstery material. It offers plenty of support as you can see. So on top here you have the three button universal garage door opener. The light for the rear. Front light. And as you can see, there's light uh, LED lightning all around the top on both sides. Door light button. 
sunglasses holder. There's the uh, automatic rear view mirror, sun visor mirror, Alcantara headliner, and here you have the uh, sunroof. You can tilt it up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. And I really wish that Audi started to integrate the panoramic sunroof in this vehicle you know because it is a flagship vehicle I feel that uh, they need to integrate that panoramic sunroof into this vehicle that way it'll match its uh, competitor all right so now let's check out the rear seat so rear door does uh, offer self-closed automatic door and there you go as you can see rear seat offer seating for three and it is quite spacious in the back very nice diamond stitching on the back as well beautiful carbon fiber trim on the back seat and here's the look at the rear driver's side door uh, window panel with Alcantara insert, carbon fiber and silver aluminum trims door lock and unlock button ashtray and here's the uh, control to your rear sunshade you can control the other side windows and the sunshade as well very convenient you can also uh, raise or close the sunshade and here's the storage compartment both surround sound speaker you also have the S8 aluminum door seal for the rear all right now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back but first let me show you the look to the front cabin I love the cabin of the S8 very spacious and very sporty at the same time here's the look to the top and down here you also have carbon fiber trims with dual air vent very nice two 12 volt power plug and a cigarette lighter in the middle so I'm 5'8 and I still have about five or six inches of leg room left with the seats all the way back and here's the rear seat pocket so I'm very comfortable in the back right now and rear seats are very comfortable as well it is very well padded with plenty of support and here's the look to the back center armrest with beautiful carbon fiber trims as well also have full zone climate control and two cup holders here you have more storage compartment and more storage here now this particular S8 model does not come with the long wheelbase it only come with a single trim S8 but if you get the A8 it'll come with the A8 long wheel uh, base version which uh, will get you more leg room in the back the top here you have the handball and the hook as well as your light also have another air vents there All right, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk uh, offer. So the trunk in the Audi S8 offer 14.2 cubic feet of cargo space, which I think is plenty of space for your groceries. And there you have your floor mat. More space here on the side. Your all-weather floor mat. There you have your net, your smaller items. And down here you have your spare tires and your tools. Here you have some hook, one on each side, and a 12 volt power plug. So here you have the lever to open the trunk in case you get locked up, to use in case of an uh, emergency. And there's the lock and trunk lock button. So gas cap is located on the passenger side. With the door unlocked, just push it in to open. It does require premium unleaded fuel only. And 
it holds approximately 21.7 gallons of fuel. So overall, the 2017 Audi S8 Plus is a high-performance luxury full-size vehicle with seating for 5 passengers. Rear seating are quite generous with 38.1 inches in headroom, 38.7 inches in legroom, and 57.8 inches in shoulder room. The front cabin are also very spacious with great upholstered material and nicely carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims all around. And here is another look to the rear seat. Alright now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So the front seats are very uh, comfortable and very spacious. And once again the front cabin are very sporty looking. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel with black and Amaro brown with white contrast stitching as well as premium wood trims and silver aluminum trims. All four windows are fully automatic and there's the side view mirror control. It does feature folded option. There you have the Bang & Allison surround sound speaker and the door storage compartment. Alpina aluminum door seal and there's the pedal and here's a closer look at the seat it is perforated and offer heated and ventilated options both front seats feature 20-way power front multi-contour seats with 4-way power lumbar support articulated upper backrest adjustable backrest width adjustable thigh support passenger seat memory and active head restraint with adjustable side support include memory system for driver and front passenger seat steering wheel as well as outside mirrors the three spoke alpina design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with blue and green contrast stitching with alpina logo in the middle as well as silver aluminum trims it also feature multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio cruise control bluetooth wireless for hand-free mobile phone as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle Behind the steering wheel you also have the quick shift button to put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. Behind the quick shift button you have the windshield wiper controlled and there you have the light controlled as well as the turn signal light controlled. And here's a look at the instrument cluster. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column as well as heated option. Over to the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful aluminum trims and there's the light control and down there you have the different driver assist button there's the trunk release as well as the hood lever and here's a closer look at the dash there you have the full color heads up display that project important information directly in front of the driver now this particular model does comes with the uh, optional bank and Olufsen high-end surround sound system that features 16 perfectly integrated loudspeaker that deliver a rich sound to the cabin now located centrally on the dash is the large LCD screen and behind it you have the bank and Olufsen surround sound speaker there's the air vent down here you have the full zone climate control and down here you have a dual cup holder for the front passenger and very nicely wood trims on the center console and here's the gear shift lever just press unlock and push up to get into reverse now once you get into reverse the uh, surround camera will appear to help you with a much easier backup and down again for neutral down again for drive and over to the left for manual or sport mode that's when you can push it up or down to change gear or use the uh, quick shift button and press the P for park very simple and next to it you have the uh, traction on and off sport mode and comfort and there's your camera and park assist and the uh, park and brake here's the uh, controller to your infotainment system you can scroll the knob around to move around screen you can push it down right or left and it is also touch uh, sensitive
Here you have the ashtray as well as the uh, cigarette lighter. Here's the uh, center storage compartment. You also have your trunk lock. Glove box compartment. And a closer look at the seat with very nice upholstery material. It is very well padded as well. And uh, a look to the top. Here you have the BMW Alpina B6 badge. There you have the SOS button. And the one touch open, close, and tilt panoramic sunroof. As well as the uh, sunshade. There you also have the light control. And here's the rear view mirror with three button universal garage door opener. Alcantara headliner. There's the sun visor with a card holder. Now let's take a look at the rear seat. And uh, I also forgot to tell you that uh, all four doors are equipped with the self closed automatic door. And there you have the Grand Coupe badge on the side of the door. So rear seat offers sitting for three and it does feature a 60 or 40 split folded option. Here's the rear driver side door panel. There's the Bang & Allison speaker and you can also control the uh, window sunshade as well as the uh, rear sunshade. Very nice. Door storage compartment with an ashtray. That's the aluminum door seal. Now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very cool looking. And here's the look to the top. Down here you have the full zone climate control for the rear passenger. Also have a heated seat. So this is how much leg room I have left. I'm 5'8", and that's with the seat all the way back. And a closer look at the rear seat. Here's the look to the back. And the look to the top with the light controlled on top. All right, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk uh, offer. So the trunk in the BMW B6 Grand Coupe offer a pretty decent amount of cargo space for groceries and luggage. But keep in mind that rear seat does fold down completely if you need extra cargo space. By pulling the lever located on each side. Down here you have your tools and uh, your battery. And here we have the sticker to the car. You can pause uh, and look at it if you like. And there you have the button to lock uh, the door. Gas cap is located on the passenger side. Just push it in to unlock. And it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 21.1 gallons of fuel. Overall, the BMW B6 Grand Coupe interior space is very luxurious. The rear space does offer decent legroom. However, headroom could be a little problem for taller than average passenger because of its coupe-like body styling with a slope uh, roofline. However, it does offer plenty of features such as rear sunshade for all of its rear windows, plus a separate dual zone climate control for the rear passenger as well. The front cabin are very classy and elegant with great upholstery material and nicely premium wood trims and aluminum trims all around. The dash feature a large 10.2 inch LCD screen plus front seating of a 